me, Stormy, and here's your weekly horoscope for the week of March 12th. And we've got some good stuff going on this week, and I'm going to tell you out the gate. This is a great week to start something. We have interesting energy happening, but you have some interesting places to make some starts this week as well. So let's see what we've got. First of all, we've got a new moon happening. Yes, the square and the trine are happening this week, and we've got Mars changing signs. So let's talk about this. Now here on Tuesday the 13th, we've got Venus in a square to Saturn. This is hard energy because it's it can be heavy. It can feel sad. It is a great opening for self-pity so if we can avoid that because saturn wants venus to grow up and venus is like don't i'm grown like don't i don't okay right so we have this mix between you need to hustle you need to achieve you need to be responsible you need to be accountable and venus who's like let's just relax let's indulge let's you know let's let's chill a little bit so these two energies are hard this is a hard energy you guys but where i think this is actually good for us because it will show you where you've got to come up and be a little bit more accountable now really the strength that comes to this as well is that saturn is in full blast it's in the sign of capricorn so it's full strength full power it is letting us know that you can't just slack back right like they, you gotta have some downtime for sure but this is not the time where we're slacking back the first six months of a saturn changing sign especially into capricorn we're gonna work we're gonna hustle, we're gonna be stretched, we're going to be responsible, right? And then Venus is over here in the first place in Aries, where she's kind of out of whack. So we really can't rely on that strength. We've really gotta look at what Saturn is trying to tell us. Now, on the same day, but later in the day, Pisces energy, which the sun is in Pisces, is going to come into a trine with Jupiter. I love this. This is expansive. It's lucky. It brings opportunities. If you felt like doors are shut, they may start to open or at least you can see the peek through because keep in mind, Jupiter is retrograde, but he's a big old benefic planet. So he doesn't stop giving off his blessings. They may just feel slowed down. Now we've had all of this energy saying, you've got to grow up. You've got to be responsible. I need some more hustle from you. This could be the opportunity that kind of just comes peeking through and it's like, oh, I could go at it from this, this direction, right? So really kind of lucky energy. Then we get to the 17th and we've got, oh, hey, We've got the new moon happening on St. Patrick's Day, which happens to be a day that I love. And for all of my friends out there who are in Ireland, I know, just please have patience with us. We're very excitable people, especially here in the United States. And we get to wear green and I know, okay? <laughs> but we do have a new moon on that day. Now the new moon does get a little bit of a sad face and an angry square from um, Mars. But I don't think that the conflict lasts for too long because Mars on that same day is going to make a move into Capricorn. And Mars is all heated up, all fiery, wants to go, all of this good kind of stuff. But it actually gets useful in the sign of Capricorn because Capricorn wants to achieve, right? So he's like, all right, Mars, let's take that firepower and point it forward here. So it's powerhouse kind of energy when you have achievement plus action this is a time where we can initiate things we can do new things we've got a new moon in our shoulders right we can get some things done and moved forward but keep in mind they're gonna move forward slowly baby steps this week and we're going to continue that way for just a little bit you guys but this is a great week to put those new starts in place i do want to throw this in here just in case with the new moon being in pisces for many of us what the signal is you know when we're looking at it towards the positive is more compassion let's look at these meditative practices let's create let's sing to the negative this new moon depending on, on what aspects it's showing up in your chart especially with that initial um square with mars and that hard energy this is a place of escape it can be a place of escape drugs alcohol food sleep whatever it is the escape behavior 
combined with what we had at the beginning of the week with this Venus Saturn, I mean, this is the self-pity and sorrow set up. So you've got to find a different action if this is the direction you feel like you're going. And this could be, you know, I'm not feeling great. Things are not working out. Is anything going to work out with me? Nothing I'm doing feels like it's going forward. It is, I promise you. But maybe you need a new outlet. And this is a wonderful time this week to find it. So... You guys, I love you so, so, so much. I'm thinking of you as I'm writing like crazy over here and what the next phase of our little development is going to look like. So I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. I look forward to seeing you guys in the 102 class that will be happening in April. So if you're not signed up yet, that's in the description box down below. And I, uh, yeah, I freaking love you guys. All right. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye, guys.